this day, I want to speak with you and have you consider that we are in the Hunger Games. There is hunger in the land. There is hunger. There is uh, homeless people uh, everywhere that are seeking uh, a meal, uh, maybe one meal a day. Uh, I know because we've worked with the people on the streets, and there are places that feed uh, the hungry uh, every single day. There's hunger in Africa. There's hunger in every single country uh, around our globe. And also, uh, there is just a, um, a fighting amongst uh, individuals, this survival of the fittest. Uh, you know, this is, I'm going to get this, and you're, you're not going to get that. And, and, and so I just want you to consider the hunger that's in the land. And in Amos uh, chapter 8, verse 11, uh, the Word of God says that the days are coming, uh, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or for bread or for water, but a famine in the hearing of the words of the Lord. Can you say amen? Because there is a famine in the land for the hearing of God's word. You know, there are many congregations that do not even teach uh, the Word of God. They teach something else. They teach other literature. Uh, they, they teach falsehood. And, and praise the Lord for those that are preaching the Word of God. Because Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He said that in John. In John chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He is the one that brings us life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. You know, when I think about hunger in the land, I, I look at um, it, in Matthew uh, chapter 5 verse 6 is that you're going to be blessed. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled. You know, we're going to be filled up with the Word of God, if we will just seek after His kingdom first and His righteousness, all of these other things will be added unto us. And first we feed the spirit man, and then we feed the outer man. And so He is saying here that the famine that's in the land that God is looking at is not all of these people that are hungry, but it is the hunger for the Word of God. It is the famine for the hearing of the Word of God. In the days of Abraham, there was famine. In the days of Joseph, there was famine. In the days of Isaac, there was famine. You know, it says that Isaac sowed in famine. He sowed in the time when there was nothing there. You know, if your finances are low and, and you need finances, then you need to be sowing. This is the time to sow. And this is the time to reap a harvest in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, as we think about the Hunger Games, we think about tribute. You know, and the young woman in that, in that movie was tribute. She said, let me be tribute. Well, praise the name of Jesus. He was our tribute. Jesus was. And it says in Acts chapter 20, uh, verse... Uh, 28, that he paid the price. He purchased us with his precious blood. When he went to the cross, he laid down his life. And in John 15, 13, it says, Greater love hath no person that they lay down their life for another. And this was the great love that Jesus had for you and for me. He was tribute. Hallelujah. And as we hunger for Him, as we thirst for Him, He is going to fill us up. He told the woman at the well in, in uh, John chapter uh, 4, I believe it is, He said, I have living water so that you will never thirst again. And she believed Him. And if you will believe the Lord today, that you will not be hungry even in the time.
time of famine, you will not be hungry. You will not be thirsty because he is your living water. Oh, hallelujah. He says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. You will be like a well-watered garden, he says. You will not be hungry. You will not be thirsty. You will not have any lack. That's what famine is. It is lack. Not enough. And in the world, as we look around the world, there's not enough. There's not enough of this resource. There's not enough of that resource. But praise God, Jesus has it all. He has every resource that you need. If you need a friend, he will be your friend that sticketh closer than a brother. If you need uh, a husband, he will be your husband. If you need uh, joy, he will be your joy. If you need peace, he will be your peace because he is the Prince of Peace. And one of God's names is Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. Hallelujah. You know, and even though we may be in the Hunger Games, we have someone who has already fought for us. We have someone who has already won the victory for us. And we have someone who has already paid tribute for us. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. If you do not know him today, you can. Just call upon his name right now. Just say, Jesus, I want you. I want you to be my Savior and my Lord. And he will come in and abide with you. He will come into your heart. He will change your mind and your life. And all the things around you will begin to change. Hallelujah. I pray that if there's something in your body that has been hurting you and giving you pain and giving you discomfort, it can no longer stay there because Jesus paid the price. He was tribute for your healing. Upon his back are the stripes. And upon, he says, by his stripes, you were healed. Past tense. You were healed. Over 2,000 years ago, when Jesus took those stripes upon his back, he took them for you, and he took them for me, and to bring healing to our bodies. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's physical or mental or emotional healing that you need. Jesus has already paid tribute for you. Just receive it right now. Receive arthritis gone. Receive migraine headaches gone. Receive deafness. Uh, um, there's a person who's uh, um, hard of hearing in, in, in the right ear. God is healing that and touching that right now. Receive your healing. Hallelujah. Receive your healing uh, in, in your uh, the liver. Uh, I see uh, that you've gone to the doctor and your liver enzymes are elevated. And I just ask the, the Lord right now to touch your liver and to bring a restoration uh, to your liver in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, if, 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 if these things are occurring in your body right now, I want you to write to us. I want you to, to email us. I want you to, uh, at the end of this program, you will see uh, our website. And you can go there and you can make your comments. We want to hear from you. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord, bless the people today. Bless them with your love and your mercy. In Jesus' name, thank you for viewing. She